Michelle from Wolf TV. Today we're here with Red Bastard. Oh, 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 sorry. Excuse me. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm fine. Hello. Good. Fine. Great. So, what have you got today? Mm -hmm. Today I've just been uh, asking the people if I'm handing out flyers at uh, booking bums. All day long. So what do you like about doing that? Making people feel uncomfortable and challenging their boundaries? I don't think people feel uncomfortable. I think people feel good. Don't you have a good life yeah. club every once in a while? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, tell us about your show. I'm married you. I'm married you. Tell us about your show. Does that make you feel more comfortable? Yeah. But I'm married you. Yeah. <laughs> About the show? Yes. All right. Uh, my show is yes. more of an event, I would yes. say. You come in, you meet me, a dangerous, seductive comedy monster. It's, uh, it's a very funny show, but uh, also, by the end of the show, something happens that I guarantee you won't happen at any other show in this festival. Mm -hmm. Out of 2,800 shows, uh, by the end of the show, sometimes people, audience members, will quit their job in front of everybody right there. They go on to different careers. Uh, somebody uh, proposed marriage. Somebody uh, ended a friendship, a bad friendship, and ended there in front of the space. Somebody they hadn't spoken to. This man hadn't spoken to his sister in eight years. They didn't have a family with him, and he called his sister for the first time in eight years and spoke to her. So amazing things can happen at the show. Anybody could even be from you or somebody watching this uh, this broadcast. So do you always get good reactions? People have yeah, that people who have not really appreciated you. I had a guy come up to me once. Or here's what I said. I've had people come up to me after the show. They've said, uh, you changed my life. Thank you. They gave me hugs. I've had people come up to me after the show. A guy once uh, came up to me and said, I want to punch you in the face right now. And then I found out he was studying to be a psychotherapist. So <laughs> he was in the process of working out his problems. Uh, in Adelaide, I had a beer bottle thrown at me. Uh, I don't know why. I was just drunk and broken in Adelaide. Uh, all kinds of reactions. Uh, it's a very exciting show, but it's actually a positive show. It's a very funny show. Yeah. I know uh, I take a right to the line, but I don't cross the line with the great people. But you know, you may feel like you're on a road. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Let's check. Can't find that. You know, I can't find actually fit. Why don't we talk about this chair for a second? Because I can't, I can't actually fit in the chair. I don't know. You know what? I'm just going to move this chair. Let's see this one. Let's see this one. The location is uh, we snuck into an abandoned tenement building oh, right. in New York. Yes, so it's all creepy and kind of uh, decrepit. Yeah. So what was it like being that bath? Was it was it a clean bath? Was the one that was in the building already? Nothing. <laughs> okay. yeah. That bath that bath had been there for ten years. You had a toilet at what point? What? I never. That I was you. I thought that was you. The light Yeah. Now we're going to go, what is this video? And where do we find this video? I don't know. I don't even know. What was it? Oh, you can find it on the website. Yeah, go for it. Webmaster.com. I think it's on there. Yeah. You can go on there. You should put like Google Red Bastard Adelaide. Yeah, it comes up with the videos. All right. He's having Red Bastard. I'm a really great promoter. I'm a great promoter. So, what have you got planned for sort of next year ahead after the fringe? Um. Uh, I don't have any plans. Do you think I have any plans? This is this is like somebody who had a plan and then like, ah, something like I people have plans like I'm a doctor, I wear a doctor like this. People have plans like I'm a lawyer, I wear a suit. This guy has got okay. plans. Yeah, just go with it. Great. Um, so thank you very much for coming and speaking to us today. Thank you. Are you going to go out and harass some more people after this? Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't harass people. Uh, I hope so. I got a show today. That's every day. I just yeah, say today because whatever like comes on at that time of the show. So where is it on? Uh, the Bosco Tent at Assembly George Square. It's at 4:40 p.m. every day. Don't miss it. I'm waiting there for you. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you very much for coming and speaking to us. You've been watching Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer.